Oh, say does that star-spangled banner yet wave o'er the land of the free and the We're different kind of politicians. We said what we're going to do on the campaign trail, and we're doing it when we got into office. And you ought to be very proud of this governor, because he, he measures, he looks at where we are, he asks the question why we continue to doing it that same old way where it didn't work before. He keeps pushing the envelope and looking for new and innovative ways to do things. He's looking at streamlining the government, bringing about accountability. So we have a greater state than what we have uh, in inherited. And this governor has a spine of steel to do what's right for the right reasons because he loved the state and he loves his people. I want to introduce to you Governor Rick Scott, your great governor of Florida. What a great legitimate governor, what do you think? My best decision was to pick Jennifer. How's everybody doing? Is the Tea Party heading the right direction? Oh, yeah. So, limited government, what do you think? Yeah. Lower taxes. Yeah. Less regulation. Yeah. Holding everyone accountable in government. Yeah. Accountability budgeting. Yeah. So we're gonna look at every piece of government and say, should we be doing that or should we not be doing it? We're gonna, we're gonna streamline things. We're gonna reduce your taxes. Part of our, well, here's our commitment. In our budget, we put out a jobs budget. I didn't use this, but a thousand people from across the state came. We said, one, we're gonna reduce the cost of government. Is that all right? Yeah. The size of government, is it too big? Yeah. Absolutely. And we're gonna give you tax, tax money back. Business taxes are gonna go down and property taxes. Now, here's how it's gonna happen. As Jennifer said, there, anybody's been to Tallahassee, during this session, there are thousands of people there. How many people up there come up to lobby and say, I want you to reduce how much money you spend? Nobody. <laughs> how many people say, hey, I've got, a, I've got an idea how you can streamline things? Only if they can make money. Not really do they want to streamline things. So here's what you have to do. You have to let your voices be heard. You have to call people, you say, I don't want you to blink. You told me when you ran for whatever office that you cared about us, you cared about jobs, you cared about reducing the cost, you cared about giving me my taxpayer money back. So you've got to say, don't blink. Just call every day. Call your rep, call your senator and say, we want less government. We want more personal freedom. We, we can make decisions for ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Now, let's think about our federal government, okay? They wanted to give us $2.4 billion to do a high-speed rail project, right? They, that either you paid for it with your federal tax dollars or you're gonna pay for it with your state tax dollars. How many people want me to do that? We walked in, we started looking at unemployment. How many people on unemployment? Guess what? We weren't even looking to see if they were trying to look for a job. Your money. Is that right? No. Now, we've got to watch how we spend every dollar. And that's what we're doing. We're going through agency by agency by agency. But we, we need your help. Now, you all, you're, all, you're all working hard. You can't be there every day. But you really can do something with your emails and your phone calls. It has a big impact. When 50 people call and say, you better not vote for or against something I disagree with. That you said in your campaign what you were gonna do and now you're doing just the opposite. Because some special interest, some lobbyist has come in and, and sold you a bill of, good, bill of goods. You have to show up, you have to do it every day and it's work because you're all working hard, you're all raising your families, but it's really important. Now, at the, let's think at the federal level. How many people want more debt? No. Why do we keep raising the debt ceiling? I mean, what can you, can you just keep borrowing more money every day? 
How many people do you know have had to tighten their belts? We all have. Everybody. Everybody. Our governments have to do the exact same thing. And we have to hold people accountable. So I tell you what, we're committed to doing it in Tallahassee. With your help, it's going to happen. We are going to be the model for the entire country. We're going to get this state back to work. But this is, this is competition. If we make this state a high cost state, a high regulation state, all those things, what's going to happen to the jobs? They're going to go someplace else. We want the jobs here for us, our families, our friends. Everything Jennifer and I are doing is about getting the state back to work. And the way you do it is run the state like you do a business. What do you have to do in business? You say, who's my customer? How do I solve their need? Well, right now, the taxpayers of this state are our customers. We're going to solve your needs. So we're just going, if you, you look at what we're doing, we're going piece by piece, and it's called accountability. We're going to put in every, every part of government that's going to be held accountable, including Jennifer and me. I believe in it. It's what, it's, it's what we do better. So thank you very much. I'm very appreciative for you. The reason Always. Jennifer... The reason Jennifer and I got elected is because of you. I mean, we, it would never have happened. You know, if you, if you travel, we traveled for uh, eight months running for governor and lieutenant governor. For eight months, the groups that showed up time and time again was the Tea Party. You did it. The Tea Party, the 912 groups, you showed up and you said, this is what we believe in. Do you believe in it? And they asked me, do you believe, are you gonna do it? I'm gonna hold you accountable. And absolutely hold me accountable. I'm not gonna blink. Jennifer's not gonna blink. Don't let anybody in Tallahassee blink. Thank you for, thank you from the bottom of my heart for all your support, for how well you've treated my family. Thank you for everything you've done. Hold me accountable, hold Jennifer accountable, and let's make sure we don't let anybody in Tallahassee do the wrong thing. God bless each of you. God bless our state. God bless this great country. Have a great day. Bye-bye. Since you're the Tea Party governor, we thought you'd have a Tea Party shirt. Oh, that's good. That's great. I'll wear that as I uh, walk in parades. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you know, you you know what you um, when you're uh, when you're elected, you know, it's a. Um, I I'll tell you something cute. So I, I was at this National Governors Association meeting. And two um, uh, Democrats got up and they said, this is the hardest job. God, it's so hard on my family. Mary Pat Christie, Chris Christie's wife, got up and said, I don't know what job you took, but we're having a ball. <laughs> this job, if you care about people, if you care about changing the direction of this country, starting with this state, this is a great job, and I love it. Thank you from the bottom of my heart for all you're doing. Have a great day. Let's get to work.